I'm Jennifer Wofford. Uh, I'm a San Francisco-based artist and educator. I am San Francisco born. I grew up all over Asia in my growth as a young artist. I went to the San Francisco Art Institute. I studied with Filipino-American artist Carlos Villa, who became a real formative person in my life. And I think through him, I was given permission to basically explore my Filipino identity but I am such a mix of many other kinds of experiences and cultures that I kind of feel like I belong a lot of places in the world. So I think how that's informed me as an artist is that my sensibilities are always going to relate to a whole variety of cultural experiences in what I do. In thinking through how I wanted to approach this mural for the Asian Art Museum, I was thinking a lot about the nature of the Tenderloin neighborhood, the intersections of cultures there, and also just like you know economic advantages and disadvantages. What is inside the Asian Art Museum and what is outside? It would be so nice for people to be able to walk by and sort of see the secret code in a project. Somebody from Vietnam might look at a pattern and be like, I know what that's about. And similarly with Filipino community, somebody might walk up and see a pattern and be like, oh, Oh, that's a Yakon tribe pattern. I get that. That's nice to see that there. Uh, and feel a little bit more ownership and connection to what's happening maybe inside the museum next. My research process for this project is very much uh, an artist's research process. A portion of it was really just walking the halls of the Asian Art Museum and seeing what was in the collection, seeing what caught my eye that I might be able to adapt into a pattern that would work for this project. In general, as an artist and as an educator, like I want things to be fun. And so within this sort of festive 80s vocabulary, I sensed something that people would be pulled towards. Uh, and I thought that between that and my general love for comic books and cartoon kinds of narratives, I thought the inclusion of a floating speech bubble would be a way to kind of activate them, anthropomorphize them very, very slightly by giving them a voice, give people like a little bit of text to anchor a question to that would then maybe allow them to enter into some of the patterns that might feel more abstract or confusing at first. I chose to highlight Asian American art history because the Bay Area is such an amazing sort of intersection of so many, you know, Asian immigration histories. It's probably the highest percentage of Asian American artists in the country, uh, if not the world. So I feel like let's name that and let's honor that. And it's not as if it was invented yesterday. It's actually the product of a long and rich legacy of Asian American artists. As I was Trying to sort out what names to include in the mural, I brought it to members of the community. We were able to kind of distill it down to nine names. Nine is too few. Like there honestly should be way more names than that. And so that's been a hard process of cutting that back. My work is both dealing with the past, but is you know the product of a very contemporary experience of the Bay Area and the world. I like that this project gets to be sitting squarely in the middle of that. It's a real honor. Mm -hmm.